Okay, good morning. Welcome to Family, Family Math. Math Number 11. Family Math Number 11. Today we're going to do kind of a fun problem, which is a f question people love to ask that's kind of tricky to answer. Mm -hmm. And the question is how many ping pong balls can fit in a room? Okay, so before we started, our room we filmed in. Maybe I should get my coffee. <laughs> our room is. 10 feet long, uh, 12 feet across, and 8 feet high. Okay, so that's our room that we film these movies in. Mm -hmm. And we squeeze our, our movies into a little corner, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we're going to try to figure out how many ping pong balls fit in this room, but give me a guess. How many ping pong balls do you think would fit in this room? Approximately. Yeah. What, 999? 999, okay, that's one guess. I like these kind of bombs too. Alright, what do you guess? I guess. About. 800. 800? And. Eight hundred and sixty-six. Okay, now remember, we're going to fill the entire room from the floor to the ceiling with ping pong balls. Okay, now my second guess. Wait, did you not understand that? Did you think we were just putting them on the floor? No. Okay, we're going to pile it in the whole room from the floor to the ceiling. The whole room's going to be filled. No one's going to be able to fit in here. What's your second guess? Hmm. 1,100. 1,100, okay. You want to take a second guess? Mm, it's your second guess. Quick. Let's see. Quick, quick, quick. quick. quick, quick. 1,200? 1,200, okay. All right. <clears throat> well, let's see. First we have to ask how big is a ping pong ball? Well, actually, first we have to do one thing. If you have a, a sort of a box shape like this, we have the length, we have the, the you know, instead of saying across, I'm going to say width. And the height. So if you have a box and it's some amount wide, some amount long, and some amount high, do you know what the volume is? No. The volume is approximately length times width times height. That's the only thing you need to know. That if you're going to figure out how much fits inside of something, you have to know how long it is, how wide it is, and how tall it is. And you just multiply length times width times height. Okay? So that's our important formula. Now a ping pong ball is a sphere. And we don't really know how to calculate the area of a sphere, or the volume of a sphere. So we're going to pretend that a ping pong ball is not nearly as fun, but it's just a cube. Ping pong cube. Okay. Now, uh, this is about one inch, right? A ping pong ball is about one inch wide. Yes. One inch long and one inch tall. So by our formula, the volume of a ping pong ball is approximately, it's not exactly, it's just approximately one inch cubed. One inch cubed. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to figure out how many one inch cubes can fit into our room. You ready for this? Uh -huh. This is going to be crazy. Okay, so ping pong ball. This is why this is a good question. Okay, so ping pong ball, P, P, is one inch cubed. Okay, now our room is ten feet long. It's ten feet long, twelve feet wide, and eight feet high, but those are in feet. And our ping pong ball was in inches, so we got to convert feet to inches. Do you know how many inches are in a foot? Twelve. Twelve, very good. So, if we change our box here to be feet, okay, what is 12 times 10? 12 sets of 10 is 
1,200? No, not 1,200. A little too, that's a little too much. Mm, it's a lot too much. What's 10 12. times 10? 10 times 10 is 100. 12, 12, so 12 times 10 is? 12 times 10 is 120. 120, very good. Okay, now what's 12 times 12? Yeah? 144. 144. And what's 8 times 12? Mm. Mm. 96. 96. Okay, very good. So now we have to multiply 144 times 120 times 96 just to make this all work. <laughs> ah, but that's a little too difficult. Okay, so again, we're just going to approximate. We could do some rounding. We are going to do some rounding. We're going to say this room is approximately 150 by 100 by 100. Just, just to make life easier. Just to make life easy. Okay, so 150 inches long, 100 inches wide, and 100 inches tall. Because we're not trying to find exactly how many ping pong balls could fit in this room because we don't have a truck with a bunch of ping pong balls. No. We're just trying to find approximately. So we have to figure out, we have to figure out what is 100 times 100 times 150. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, well luckily multiplying things with lots of zeros is really easy because what do you do when you have something with lots of zeros? Well what I do is I do, I would do 1 times 1 times 15. And then I would add these all these zeros on. Okay, well let's do it one step at a time. First, what's 100 times 100? Yeah? 10,000. 10, okay, so you just add the zeros. We get 10,000 times 150. Now, to do 10,000 times 150, first we just do 10,000 times 10, which is... Which is 100,000. Yeah, 100,000 times 15. Okay, and what is 15? Do you know what 15 times 100,000 is? Fifth, this uh, is tricky. 1,500,000. Very good. How'd you know that? Very well, good. 100,000 times 10 is a million. Okay, 1,500,000. Okay. We were way off. So that's how many one inch cubes. So a ping pong ball is one inch cubed. This room is approximately 1.5 million inches cubed. So that means inside of this room we could fit 1.5 million ping pong balls. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Can you believe that? The, our guesses were like a thousand. Like all, all of our guesses were around a thousand. But we can actually fit 1.5 million. Ping -pong approximately. Balls. Approximately. Approximately 1.5 million. Whoa. Isn't that amazing? Whoa. Who would have ever thought you could fit 1.5 million ping pong balls inside of this room? Whoa. Did you think of that? No. 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 That's crazy. But I think my guess was the closest. <laughs> That's true. Your guess at 1,200 was the closest. But okay. All right. Good job, guys. That was a fun family math. Awesome.